you know? I just don't know how people do it. Well, I mean, they're idiots. They're broke at it. They're, they're, you know, they're constantly self-medicating. Some people just grow up with abuse and become abusers and blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. We make sure we start this one time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Two minutes. I just glanced at it. I really didn't have time to go through it line by line this time. I can't even. Usually I go through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got to be still. It just uh, still. It's the end of their life, and they need to be relaxed, and then they're busting the bud. Every day. Most of us does not to It is a real calamity, I'll tell you. Well, I hate that. I mean, it's a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. I just hope we don't have it. My oldest one told me he's 31. He's married, lives up in Illinois. He said, Dad, he said, I'm never having any kids. Because she's a real older guy. She's a real older guy. So I'm not sure that don't happen. I said, okay. He'll suffer. He'll, he'll, he'll be with her till he dies. And it's just all about her and always will be. He is the nicest human being alive. <laughs> How he came from me, I have no idea. Six of his now. mother is a real sweet gal. Okay. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody here. Thank you for showing up. It's good to see so many people show up, and I hope we can continue this in the future. So the first order of uh, business tonight, we'll have an invocation. I've asked Pastor Chuck Lassiger from First Free Will Baptist Church if he would lead us <coughs> in our invocation. If you would silence your phones or turn them off, please. Father God, we come in your presence tonight to thank you for every blessing that you bestow upon us. Uh, we thank you for the city of Bowie, dear God. Lord, tonight in this council meeting, I pray and ask that the council members and all that are represented here, dear Father, that uh, they would conduct the city's business in, in order. And Father, just bring into our lives, dear God, uh, the realization that uh, Bowie is a place, dear God, that uh, I think you want to bless. So help us tonight, dear Father, as the city council makes decisions, dear God, make the best decisions for the people of Bowie here in the state of Texas. And we ask that you bless each and every one of them, dear God. Thank you for those that are here to conduct business tonight and uh, bless them as well. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, the first uh, agenda item is number four, the city manager's report. So, Bert, if you will uh, give us that. The mayor and I went to American Hat Company this last week to watch the festivities where they got to grant the video of their manufacturing operations for training purposes. The grant was from the Texas Workforce Commission through the Texas Department of Agriculture. Uh, it was for a little more than $98,000. You probably saw that in the paper. Uh, Barbara scooped me on that. So, uh, last Tuesday, I attended a meeting of the Neighborhood Watch Program. Bob, Bob Blackburn and Kent Stagg of our police department the speakers for the program. Uh, they gave an excellent program on the crime in, on crime in the holiday season. I would urge everyone to get involved in the neighborhood pro the watch program. You can help lower crime in our city simply by keeping your eyes and ears open. It goes to the adage, if you see something, say something. Uh, we have on our agenda tonight the Texas Water Development Board and the possibility to get of the city getting a loan to replace all of our old dilapidated sewer lines. We had a conference call this past week with the Water Development Board on Wednesday, uh, and, and it included the city, Hader Engineering, 
uh, government capital and personnel from the Texas Water Development Board. board. Uh, we have started the process of making application for the loan. We will discuss it tonight on the agenda. Uh, we had a person from the uh, Texas Department of Agriculture doing a visit this last Thursday looking at our community belt block grant sewer line uh, replacement area between Wise and Decatur Street that runs parallel to Mill Street. We have a collapsed sewer line under the railroad that has been giving us trouble for years uh, and the grant will help, help us take care of it. Uh, it is the first step in the start of the process. If you'll look I think that uh, Sandy passed out a map showing you uh, basically what we're going to do. There's some changes on it where uh, the engineer is going to make changes on uh, the directional line to make it better for us. And that's extensive. Uh, <coughs> the water line on Lee and Patterson Street is progressing. The guys were making steady progress laying the line until they were about to cross El Dorado Street and they hit a boulder at the back of the cemetery and in the, ro on, in the road on El Dorado Street. Had to rent a jackhammer for the excavator in order to get the rock out of the wine area. Obviously, this has slowed our progress, but the guy can get it done. That's all. Anybody got any questions? Okay, no questions, so we'll move on. Thank you, Bert, for that report. Next section, uh, uh, our article number five, public comments. And this particular section here is where people can freely come and speak and ask any questions or make any statements or comments. We can't deliberate on it because it's not on the agenda. So uh, if it's, uh, we feel like it should be on the agenda in the future, we'll do so. So if anyone has anything to say in the public, section, uh, public comment section, go ahead. Okay, hearing none, we'll move on. Section number six, department re department reports. Stoney Lawrence, come give us a report Before on Before we start this, I, I got a question. Yes. When did we change our uh, agenda to include department reports? The one that Bert gave? Yes, because we normally get these. We all voted on getting these through email. Uh, I made a suggestion that they come. Okay, well. Uh, uh, do you still get them on email? Yes, but I think we... Uh, <clears throat> we need to stick with the way we voted. We voted for these to be through email and not through at the meeting. Is that right? They did vote to get them by email, but... I don't know that we voted to exclude them from your meetings. I, th I think you guys were getting the information through the email, but I didn't know that that meant nobody... Yeah, we voted on uh, obtaining the department head reports every month through email. Okay. Instead of through Bert's... Uh, he was completely included in the packet, but we had voted on getting them through email. So I don't feel like it's... Uh, well, the reason I brought this up, I feel like the public may have some questions about this, and we'd like to hear what the department heads have to say. Uh, if, it's, if this is something that needs to be changed, uh, I'm, I'm not aware of that. So, Well, I'd like to make a motion we don't do oral department head reports at the meeting. I think we should stick to what we voted on, uh, have them through email. I'll second that motion. I have a question. Is that on the agenda it for is, us to make? It is not on the agenda. It's just, it it's is just, on the agenda. It's just a report. I don't know, but it's, it's an actual item. The, I, I, we would have to put <coughs> an item on the agenda to discuss removal of the or not having the report. So maybe, maybe this is something that we need to look at when we're looking at you guys council procedures kind of thing. I, I don't recall that vote about not ever having a department head speak at a meeting, and so well, I need I mean, to look it's, back we at haven't, that. As long as I've been on council, we've never had oral department reports at the meeting. Well, that is something that's been done in the past. Yeah, it's been done in the past, and I personally so, like it, and I think the citizens probably would like to hear that too. Well, I, I think uh, we need to discuss that. Okay, we've got a motion so. in a second. Do we need to do something with no. this since it's not on the agenda? Are you moving to no. place it on the agenda? He's, I, I think, Jason, if I understand, you're, you're moving to not have Stoney exactly. and Jay All right, and the report we can, tonight. That or if you want me to reword it as having uh, to postpone this until we discuss this and have an oral uh, department reports. Um, there, which, we, any, which we can, it is an actionable item. Okay, there, but there's not any action to be taken, it's just a report. So I'm not really well, it's, understanding. So you I, don't think you, I don't think you understand it. I don't I, think I'm we should have, I don't think we should have oral department reports at a city council meeting. I think that we, we pay Bert as our city manager to manage those part of those people and if he has something he wants to bring up he needs to bring it up inside the manager report even though it's been done in the past and you voted not no to it do has it. it though in the past bill 
we have not done this. We well, they okay. have been, yes, a motion had been made to, for us to take department reports and email, and we all agreed to do that. I okay. recall we, I never, we never voted on having an department. I recall was Larry all. Slack was the mayor at that time, and he had those departmental <coughs> meetings. Okay, I'd like Randall. to say something really quick. If, yes. if I could just interject real fast, the department reports were on the agenda, or on the agenda on a routine basis every every meeting. <coughs> they were removed without council approval by our city man or by our former mayor. We Which, voted at the meeting to have some sort of a report given to us because we weren't receiving reports at all. So <coughs> then we started getting them by email. Okay. Then so I'll, all our mayor's done is put them back on whenever okay. they were taken off without council approval. So if you're saying what she did was wrong, then what we're doing here is wrong. I'm not saying what she did was wrong or right. I'm just saying that's... Well, you said without council approval. Well, that she did do it without council okay. approval. I'm not saying that was right or I wrong. Think, I think... Because she has control of the agenda. <coughs> so. If you want a department reports done here at the meeting, I don't have a problem, but I think we need to decide as a group to do that. Okay. If you don't have a problem with that. I think that's do, the way we do. We do we want to table this motion and put and discuss this? Well, so that no, we, no. I mean, we've got a motion, even though I don't think this is probably an actionable item. We 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 had a, a motion to not have Stoney or Jay present a report tonight, and I think we have a second on that. So it's up for so vote. I, I, you know, go ahead, go ahead and call it, Mr. Mayor. Okay. I, I mean. Okay, let's take a vote on that, Mr. Kent. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, Sandy's got to get ready. Yeah, she, yeah, she's not. Not ready. So, so we this have a motion. Is a motion to not have a report tonight. Right. right. Yes, to not accept these reports. Or accept oral reports. Tonight. 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 Okay, so we have a second. Can I, do we have a discussion yeah, now? Yeah, because I can discuss it. Okay, so what is, uh, and I'm not trying to be difficult, I really aren't, just what is the reason for not having them? Okay, the, qu the reason is, if we have a problem with one of the reports, okay, I feel we should go to Bert, the city manager, the boss of these people, okay. and, and, and explain our, our problems with him. We don't need to sit here and, per se, throw a stone throw at these people, okay, when we paid Bert to do this job. That's his job. Now we're trying to take away his job and, and, and listen to the reports. That's what we pay Bert to do. <coughs> that's, okay. that's the concern I have. Okay. Okay, I'm not, trying, I'm not saying we shouldn't have them. I, I love reports, but I don't think that this is the venue for this. Okay, so then my thing would be that this is not a point for us to reprimand them. Okay. This yeah. is a point for us to ask what's going on with the city and, and find out, <coughs> you know, okay, were you doing this, were you doing that, or whatever. And the same for the citizens. The citizens aren't privy to our reports. Okay, couldn't you do that through a city manager report as well? How would they get that to the citizens? Well, burn. How would Bert get that to the citizens if well, they're not here in the meeting? Well, Bert's reporting on, on, on the, the status overall of, of, status of the city, yeah. but not of each department. I could see where if we have something unusual, something, you know, not status quo that they want to report, I'm all for it. Uh, I think they need to come forward and, and report it. It may be something they're proud of or something that Absolutely. they've accomplished. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm all for it. But in general, I'm of the same mindset that you know on a day-to-day -day basis the drudgery of what they're doing yes because it's no fun should come to us in an email report and to be <clears throat> honest i mean i got jay's report i flipped it and i'm like okay they did this 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 what i mean it's a synopsis of basically of what they do every day which is fabulous i mean i applaud that great work you know getting us the reports and everything but if there's something overall that Maybe they did that was beneficial to the city that, you know, he wants True. to draw attention to or something that he's having trouble with, you know, that maybe was not apparent from just the day-to-day -day activities. Then, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with him standing up there and saying, okay, look at this. We did this and it was great. Or, you know, we did this and it didn't work out so well. Maybe we should do something else, you know, or whatever. Any other comments or discussion about this before we take a vote? Okay. Mr. Kent, how do you vote on this? 
I still need clarity. This is a vote on whether or not they're going not. to be able mm -hmm. right. to so give vote, the report tonight. tonight. If you vote aye, then they don't give the report, right? Right. Okay. If you vote aye, that means they're not going to give the report based on his motion. No. So you vote no? Ms. Buckmaster? No. Mr. Love? Yes. Mr. Bell? Yes. Ms. Higgins? Yes. Mr. Malone? Yes. <coughs> so the motion carries that we will not hear the reports tonight. Okay? Stoney and Jay, you're off the hook. <laughs> but if you have anything you want to brag to me about, feel free to come up to me afterwards. <laughs> Brag away. Well, that's what I'm sorry. I figured y'all were already prepared to give one, so might as well have to give it. Okay, moving on to item number seven consent agenda, uh, consent approval of uh, the uh, agenda items. There's four sections here. We're going to talk about them all at once and come back at the end and vote on them. But uh, so right now, the, uh, the first item is approval of the minutes. Do we have a um, any so questions? We're going to do them individually. So we're, we're going to vote all of, on all okay, of them at once, but after okay. uh, Carrie gives her financial report under medical uh, notice. So <coughs> okay. That was second on that. No, we're. I'm sorry. We're not. We're not voting to do them yet. We're just. I'm not just yet. explaining. We're going to talk about them, and then we're going to oh, come and vote them yeah, at the sorry. end. I'm sorry about that confusion. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the, the, the approval of the minutes, the resolution 2019. Dot Dash 30, resolution authorizing the city manager to write off the uncollected utility account receivables over 15 months. And I don't have that handy here, the amount of that. You have that same. How much was that? Okay. The amount we need to write off is three thousand six hundred sixty-four dollars and ninety-seven cents on uncollectible utilities. And the next one is uh, resolution twenty nineteen thirty, resolution authorizing the city manager to write off uncollected library overdue fines over fifteen months, and that is thirty-four dollars and twenty-six cents. And the next item is to approve the quarterly financial statement ending September 2019. And Carrie, you want to come give us a report on that? <laughs> I started to mention that, but I thought I'd let you say that. So you're not off the hook from that. If you could speak up so we could all hear you, please. Um, you all got your sheets that have the typical points of interest made. So since it's the end of September, we're sitting at 100% for everything. And um, the revenues for the utility fund were <coughs> doing good right where they need to be. The interest, as you can see, is just under 100000 which was really good for the year. Um, the expenses for the water department were right at 71%. Um, and the general fund revenues were uh, about 118%, which was up quite a bit. And the expenses for the general fund were just under 100%. Have any questions about any of the specific things on there? Any questions over these uh, numbers that Carrie's given us? Okay. If not, we'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda items one through four. So moved. Mr. Love yes, makes a motion. He has a second. Mr. Bell. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Kent, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Bell? Aye. 
Okay. We'll take care of that. Okay, next item is uh, number eight. We're going to move that until after the executive session. Oh, I'm sorry. Mitigation plan. Uh, old businesses to discuss a Nortex mitigation project plan update. Do you have that, Burke? Yeah. There's nothing to it. We're still waiting on uh, our plan to be approved. Uh, I had an early day. Talked to the county judge the other day. They're in the same boat we are. They're going to do a county-wide approval. I'm pretty much sure of how that process is going to happen. So uh, as they approve the county, they'll approve ours and go from there. So we'll be in with the county when they approve the county. We'll be included in that. No, we're actually separate from the county, but they'll they'll probably approve everything from Montana County. Okay. So if we didn't get included, the way the process works, uh, if we hadn't done a mitigation plan on our own, uh, we would have to go to the county and get them to make applications for us. When we were applying for a, uh, a loan or a grant, uh, but since we did it on our own, then we, we can do that on our own. Uh, that's happened in other counties, and, and like uh, if the county government didn't or did a mitigation plan and a city didn't, uh, they have to talk the county into doing their grant application process and they're very unlikely to do it because it's you know it's quite tedious and they're not getting anything out of it so we chose to do our own i'm just curious bert are the other cities in monte county doing a mitigation plan too or are we the only ones um we're done yeah there that's all right i don't remember if no color's doing one or not i don't believe so i believe they're involved in the county as well yeah okay, okay. so when do you expect the approval to come through? Uh, sometime the next month, but I said that two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you're at the mercy of the, uh, 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 the state uh, to get that approved. But. Okay, any other questions for Bert on this? If not, we'll move on to item number nine, new business. That's the... Uh, <clears throat> recommendation from planning and zoning on request from Victron stores to replant 9.59 acres out of blocks 14 and 15 HCSL survey a-319 creating lots 1 and 2 block 1 gateway of buoy addition and I like the name of that new addition gateway of buoy that's pretty neat gateway so. addition Bill Calabretto chairman of the planning and zoning board Mr. Mayor and chairman uh, I mean, the, the council members, uh, we met on the November 21st. A uh, quorum was met. Uh, we had a discussion about the replanting of the 9.59 <coughs> acres, making uh, two parcels and uh, taking some from uh, Section 14, putting it with Section 35 so that we could have Block 1 and Block 2. And uh, uh, this has uh, all been approved unanimously and so we recommend to the council that they move on this as well okay thank you very much bill for that do i have a motion to approve this are there any discussion about it before we do where is this at is this the new service okay. that's the travel center Council members, this property was uh, rezoned in February from agriculture to commercial so that, that they could uh, develop this property. So they bought the whole nine acres and this is to split it in half and they're going to yeah, sell or do something? One and sell the other okay. is what I understand. Is there a motion to approve? I move. Okay. Mr. Buckmaster, second? I'll second. Okay. Mr. Bell, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Kent? No stream. Okay. Do you need these back? Yes. Thank you, Bill, for that report.
Under new business uh, number two, designate a representative as North Tech, North Tech's Regional Planning Commission proxy or alternate. And uh, it's my understanding that in the past, the mayor and the mayor pro tem were on this uh, committee. And uh, Wayne Bell was the mayor pro tem. And uh, Wayne and I talked a little bit the other day about that. And uh, I think it's important that whoever gets on this can attend these meetings. I know some of you folks still work. It's hard to get away from work to go to these meetings. So I ask you to consider that before you uh, get on these boards. Because if you're on it and you never can make the meetings, that creates a problem. But, so, do I have any motions or nominations for people to serve on this board? We need Do you to. I was actually going to ask Wade if I'd like to nominate Wade to uh, continue the work on the door text That's if willing. That's good. That's good. And I would second that. <coughs> so, we have a motion and a second for Wayne, and we need to do one more. All in Thank favor. You, <laughs> uh, let's, let's go ahead. Yes. Wayne. Do, okay, that's right. Yeah. So let's uh, all in favor of Wayne, Mr. Thomas. Aye. Ms. Buckmaster. Aye. Mr. Love. Aye. Mr. Malone. Aye. Ms. Uh, Ms. Higgins. Aye. And Mr. Bell. You don't get a vote. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne, for uh, volunteering to do this again. That would be great. Uh, I'd like to uh, go up there with you sometime. So we need to do one more. And for what it's worth, I'm willing to do that, but if somebody else wants to do it, y'all jump right in there. Well, I'd like to make a motion. Diana has been working with this for a while, and uh, would see if she'd be willing to keep, continue the work, because they're actually uh, doing really good progress over there. So I'll second that. Okay. All right. So we have a... First and a second, so let's vote on that. Is she agreeing? Do you agree? Well, she's that? shaking her head. I'm seeing it. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Thomas. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're voting for Diane Higgins, Higgins to be on the North Texas. Thomas is my first name. Uh, I'm sorry. Aye. Miss Buckmaster. Aye. Mr. Love. Aye. Mr. Malone. Aye. Mr. Bell. Aye. We're not going to call on you, Miss Higgins, because you're going to be the one. Well, thank you for volunteering to do that. I think that's great. <coughs> Next thing on the agenda is item number three, appoint a chairperson, which has to be a council member to the hotel motel board. I'm not sure who's on that now. Um, Gayland was our representative. Gayland was a representative? Okay. So we need to make uh, a recommendation for someone to fill that chairperson, that chairperson's point on the hotel motel board. When do they, when do they meet? I'm not sure. We just did this. No, we did the other. Nortex was way Two people for Nortex. This is a hotel motel board. There's two for Nortex. <coughs> there, was a, there was always supposed to be one person on Nortex. No, there's two. There's two. A proxy, a proxy. And an Okay, I apologize. I thought there was only one. I was nominating Diane for Hotel Motel because that's where she's been working. <laughs> well, I was, I was wondering. wondering why she still looked at me like I was crazy. I was, well, I, I I was wondering. That's my fault. I've done both, Jason, actually, because I okay. worked hard yeah. with her. I was wondering what work you were talking you about. You got it right, Jason, despite <laughs> yourself. The problem is, really I worked hard that's with cool. her on the. Um, and Doug on the. I apologize. Uh, I. I Okay, I thought we were so, talking about the hotel with Diane. No, yeah. I worked hard with Burke and Doug on the, uh, and I'm losing it at the moment. They're, Tracy, you got all that? Help me, Burke. If you, if you could, I'm, I'm at the uh, No, the. Nortex? Well, we went to all of the meeting on the Nortex Regional Planning for the. The Hazard, the Hazard Mitigation Plan, thank you. Okay. We went to all those meetings together okay. back then. So I figured that was the reason okay. behind the first That's one. Fine. Okay, so, so are you willing to serve on both? I've worked hotel motel <laughs> tax for 20 years, okay. yes. So uh, I'm okay. very familiar with how they operate. If you're willing to work on both of them, that's what we want to know. <laughs> yes, I will do both. Okay. Because okay. I'm very familiar. Hotel motel tax is not very, they don't only meet a couple of times a year. And yes, I'm very familiar with how they operate and what that money is for and not for. So. Okay, so we've already voted to have you on, so we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> we just go ahead then. 
Yeah, you're good. You're good. You, you're in my production. I actually yeah. understand no, the purpose behind it. Yes. Is there, is there, there, is there, is there a motion? Nobody's made a motion. Okay. okay. I make the motion. I'll make the motion that Diana Higgins serve on the hotel motel tour. And a second on that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Kent, how do you know that? Ms. Buckmaster, uh, Mr. Love, uh, <laughs> Mr. Bell. Oh, uh, yeah. I got that. How, how do you vote, Mr. Bell? Uh, Mr. Malone? Aye. Uh, okay. All right. You're on there, Ms. Higgins. Thank you. Okay. The next one is the reappointments to the 4A board. And we've got three of them. We need to vote on these individually as well. First one on here is Tim Biles. I don't think I know you, Tim, if you're here. Oh, hi, Tim. I'll come get around and shake your hand one of these days. So uh, we need to make a, have a motion to uh, <coughs> reappoint yeah. Mr. Biles to the 4A board. Do I'll I make that motion. Okay. Have a second? I'll second. Okay. Mr. Kent, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Bell? Aye. Okay. Congratulations, Tim. Uh, the next one is uh, Dean Myers. Are you here, Dean? I don't. Oh, you're Dean. Okay. Hi, Dean. I don't know you either. I'll get around to meeting you soon, hopefully. Okay. Do we have a motion for Mr. Myers? I so moved. Okay. Second. Aye. Ms. Higgins. Mr. Bell, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Higgins. Aye. Mr. Malone. Aye. Mr. Love. Aye. Ms. Buckmaster. Aye. And Mr. Kent. Aye. Okay. And the next one is Carla Swafford. Carla I'm here? Okay, oh, Carla. I don't know you either, but I'll get around to meeting you too, hopefully. Okay, have a motion for uh, Ms. Swafford? I'll make the motion. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Mr. Kent, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Bell? Aye. Okay. Thank you, folks, for volunteering to be back on these boards. Okay, the next item is number five, reappointments to the 4B board. Again, there's uh, four people. We'll vote on these individually as well. And Todd Brown, are you here? I don't know. Todd is not here Okay, I don't know him either. I may know him if I saw him, but I'll get around to meeting him. So, well, say again. He serves on the PNC board as well. Okay, I probably met him then. Okay, do I have a motion for Mr. Brown? Okay, second. Yes. Okay, Mr. Bell, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. And Mr. Kent? Aye. Okay. Mr. Enlow, I don't know you, but I know your grandfather. <laughs> I drink coffee with him a lot down to oh, Dairy Queen. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. You're a whole lot better looking man than he is. Okay, do I have a motion for Mr. Enlow? So moved. Second. Second. Okay. We get way. Okay. Mr. Kent, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Bell? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Malone? Aye. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Enlow. And I want to get to visit you one day about some things that, uh, about the school and the city. I'm really excited about that. Mr. Miller, that's a good name. <laughs> I met you a long time ago. Okay, we have a vote for, do I have a vote for Mr. Miller? I'll make a motion for Mr. Miller. I mean, not a vote, a motion. Second? Second. Okay. Now we'll vote. Mr. Kent? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Bell? Aye. Okay. <coughs> Ward Wallace, I think I saw you here. So I, okay. I have a motion to uh, second. second. Ms. Higgins? Mr. Bell, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Kent? Aye. Thank you, folks, for volunteering. These are important jobs. And I thank you for being here, and thank you, thank you for stepping up and doing it again. Okay. Consider appointments to the library board. We've got four folks here. Ms. Seal, Judy Hill? She was unable to. Okay. So we'll vote on here. Ms. Uh, do I have a vote for a recommendation for Ms. Hill? So Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Kent? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Buck Ms. Uh, 
Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Bell? Aye. Okay. And Janelle Rogers, she, she left me a message and I, I got it late today and I returned her, so that was good that she called. I'm looking forward to meeting her too one of these days. So uh, we'll vote on Mrs. Rogers to have a motion for Ms. Rogers. Second. And we have a second. Second. Okay, I'll split it up there. Okay. Mr. Kent, how do you vote? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. And Mr. Bell? Aye. Okay. Thelma Roth, is she here? Not Thelma? I'll get around to meeting you one day soon, hopefully. Uh, do I have a motion for Ms. Roth? I make a motion. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Okay. Mr. Bell? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. And Mr. Kent? Aye. And Karen Melankowski? Bill Well, oh, thank you. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> thank you. I'll get around to meeting you one of these days, too, I hope. Okay, do I have a motion for Ms. Karen? Tell me. Do I have I'm a second? I'm not going to try to say <laughs> That's why I said Ms. Karen. I'll say And Ms. Higgins did. Okay. We'll have, uh, how do you vote, Mr. Kent? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Mr. Bell? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Okay. Number seven. I think we've got a big change here to the wording, to the change, to change the wording to the public, GUI Public Library Constitution and Bylaws. Do you want to step up and tell us what this is all about? Um, the Food Public Library Board is just an advisory board, and they felt that a bi monthly meeting would be just as efficient as meeting on a monthly basis. So they're requesting the change to the meeting schedule in the bylaw. So they'll be meeting every other month? Every other month. Gotcha. They don't, and it already stays in there, they don't meet during the summer, and they don't meet during the summer. Okay. That seems simple enough. So we need to vote on that. Do I have a motion to uh, vote on that? So Mr. Love? Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Mr. <coughs> Bell? Aye. Ms. Higgins? Aye. Mr. Malone? Aye. Mr. Love? Aye. Ms. Buckmaster? Aye. And Mr. Kent? Aye. Okay, this next item, number eight on the agenda, we're going to shift places with it because we need to go into executive session. So uh, at this time, we'll adjourn this meeting at 634 and go into executive session, and we'll reconvene after that. We're moving items. I got you. <laughs> it's been a long time.